Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Building an airplane is no easy task, especially given the size and complexity of most modern aircraft. Nowadays, it would be nearly impossible for all aircraft components to be produced in one facility. In fact, in most cases, each massive component of the plane is not only produced in a different country, but often on a different continent. This is true for Airbus, Europe's premier aerospace corporation, with facilities in China, the US, Canada, France, and Germany, the company is well aware of how hard it can be to manage the logistics of aircraft assembly. C'était des éléments trop gros pour transporter pareil. Donc, il nous restait rien d'autre que chercher un transport aérien. It didn't take long for Airbus to realize that the answer to their new manufacturing problems was right under their nose. What they needed was a special cargo aircraft that could transport the components manufactured in facilities all over the world to the assembly plant. This eventually led to the creation of the Airbus Beluga, a super transporter that has helped save the company billions of dollars in annual transportation costs. The Beluga had two main inspirations. The first was Airbus's own A300-600 wide-body airliner. This twin-engine craft became the workhorse of countless airlines and had the large frame size necessary to accommodate the company's desired modifications. A key design feature is the exceptionally wide 222-inch diameter cross-section of the fuselage. This large cross-section gives passenger comfort and flexibility in cabin layout, from six abreast to nine abreast seating. The A300-600 can carry industry-standard LD3 containers side-by-side -side in its holds. The other inspiration was Aero Space Line's Super Guppy, a bulbous transport plane designed all the way back in 1965. One of them even carried a number of components for NASA's Saturn V rocket. By combining the Guppy's extra-tall body with the A300's length, Airbus created the first Beluga, which entered service in 1995. The plane featured an upward-opening hinged door that allowed the entire fuselage to open at the front, providing access to a 24-foot diameter, 120-foot-long cargo area. When operating at full capacity, the Beluga could handle a whopping 51 tons of equipment. In no time, Airbus realized that transporting wings, engines, and even entire fuselages was as simple as sending in the Belugas. But the company isn't done quite yet. In order to satisfy the growing need for the transportation of larger parts, Airbus designed the Beluga XL, which took its first flight in July 2018. Though still constructed on the A330 assembly line, the XL boasts more capacity than its predecessors, with a new maximum payload of 55.6 tons. 
This was largely thanks to a massive fuselage and total body length of 207 feet. Of the five Beluga XL super transporters in service, almost all feature a smiling Beluga painted on the front of the craft, a touching homage to the whale that inspired its name. On the other side of the pond, Boeing also developed one of the largest cargo aircraft flying today, the Dreamlifter cargo freighter. Instead of designing a new cargo aircraft from scratch, Boeing extensively modified their 747 aircraft and now boasts a full 65,000 cubic feet of storage volume. Like the Beluga, Boeing also designed the plane to facilitate the transfer of parts between Japan, Italy, and the U.S. However, it has also seen massive use by both the U.S. government and private corporations in recent years. There are numerous gigantic aircraft flying today, with sizes only limited to the number of airports with facilities large enough to accommodate them. Due to the laws of physics, there are limits to how large a plane can get and how much it can carry. This fact has led to some aerospace manufacturers like Lockheed Martin to revisit technology that had largely been ignored for many years. This brings us to the P-791 airship, an experimental tri-hull aircraft that uses both buoyant and aerodynamic lift to balance cargo capacity and speed. Capable of carrying around 47,000 pounds of payload and up to 19 passengers over ranges of up to 1,400 nautical miles at a cruise speed of 60 knots while using far less energy than an airplane. The aviation industry continues to invest billions of dollars annually in the research and development of technologies to increase aircraft performance and fuel efficiency. Hydrogen planes and blended wings are amongst the many innovations the industry is looking into. As the global economy continues to expand, there will undoubtedly be a further need for smart logistics solutions. These mammoth cargo freighters are not only engineering marvels, they often serve more purposes than originally designed. However, it will be interesting to see if future aircraft will continue to expand, or has it reached its peak? That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.